Welcome, I'm Dr. Charles Tilburg and I'm the Academic Director of the School of Marine and Environmental Programs and I'm also the Director of the Arthur P. Gerard Marine Science Center. And today I'm going to give you a tour of the building of the Marine Science Center. So why don't you follow me now and I'll give you a tour of the building. One of the things that I like the most about this particular building is this room right here. We've got all kinds of art, but also you can see the Saco River through the greenery here. And so this is the perfect location for the School of Marine and Environmental Programs because we can walk out of our building and immediately be where we want to study. It's a bit loud in here, but the students that work in here really don't mind. Because what they get to do here is this is where they learn how to take care of Atlantic salmon. In this tank right here are 50 to 60 Atlantic salmon that originated in the Saco River. This is a project that we've come up with to help repopulate the population of Atlantic salmon that are in the Saco River. So this is a lab that's set up for one of our marine biology labs that we're going to be doing in about an hour or two. And the back, if you look, all of those white tables back there have all kinds of different organisms in them, such as crabs and sea urchins and lobsters that the students can get interact with and can study so that they're not just learning from a textbook, they're actually learning from the actual organisms. Now, the coolest thing about this entire lab, it's these gray pipes. We have seawater that flows through this building, keeping our organisms alive. And that's one of the beauties of having our Marine Science Center right next to the ocean. So this is the Aquarium Science Conservation Lab. We've nicknamed it the Clownfish Lab. And the reason why we've nicknamed it the Clownfish Lab is that the professor that's working on this is one of the world's foremost experts on breeding clownfish. So that's a quick tour of the building. What I want to show you now are some of our research vessels at our dock. And here we have two of our favorite boats that we use here in the School of Marine and Environmental Programs at the University of New England. On my left hand side is the 30 foot Arthur P. Gerard Marine Science Center RV Sokoki. It holds 30 students. On my right hand side is the 23 foot RV Lear. And this holds about eight students. The Sokoki is mainly for students, so if we take this to Ram Island, which is an island the University of New England owns, that's about two miles away from here, you can pull this up onto the beach and lower the front of it, and you can walk directly off of that, and then students can explore the intertidal zone, they can look at whatever else is going on on the island, and they can have all kinds of wonderful experiences that is literally 15 minutes from the Marine Science Center. So I want to thank you for following me throughout this entire tour, and I hope you come see me so that I can show this to you in person.